Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I am back today with a what's in my bag video, best videos on YouTube, point blank period. And I am so happy to be saying that I'm doing it on this little guy. This is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack in the all over monogram canvas. Yet to review this bag, I think I reviewed it in the PM when I had the PM size in all over monogram. I have not reviewed it in the mini, I don't think. This is it set up as I have been using it for the last week. I would like everyone to take note that there are two backpack straps on it. After I did my um, COVID edition, I repacked this bag as my current handbag and I was playing around with the strap and that strap was the pochette Matisse strap I showed you in that video that I was really liking it more with the pochette Matisse strap uh, which I was happy about because I was putting it to use however I was thinking through and going hang on a second I'm back and forth so much about the Palm Springs PM backpack and wanting it it's a full backpack you can't use it like as a crossbody bag because it doesn't have the D-rings on the back here. Why don't I try using the Palm Springs Mini as an actual backpack? Yes, I am quite a tallie and I'm curvy, but I thought I would just give it a go and see and to be hands-free as a mum and see if I liked it. What this bag can pack is insane. I have repacked it back up now. I had a few things scattered, but I mean, this is max, okay? This is stupid. I have added everything back in it that I had in it. Some stuff was scattered, like some things were in my car. But I've put it all back inside just to show you that this is at absolute max capacity. I wouldn't stuff this any more than it's stuffed. Right now on the front of it, I have my black coated leather uh, luggage tag on my little organize my bags i will link them below they sent me out a few things and this is one of their golden hooks you can see there this is their golden hooks i've attached it to the top of the luggage tag and i'm using this currently hello zipper i am using this currently as kind of like a lever to pull the zipper you don't have to because this is the new zipper it could not be on it and it's just as beautiful i mean you don't need a lever but it's so nice to add something just as you know a charm or whatever so right now i have my little mussy a little mussy bag charm which i got when mussy was born however i will show you this little baggie is my louis vuitton keychain extender and organize my bags do these as well they do great ones of these actually on the two zippers like so and then you can use it kind of as a zipper lever that way either way if you have sorry I'm, your mask is really tricky it can get stuck in zippers everywhere I had my mask in my mini pochette and I like got the the string stuck and I was in the shops like excuse me a second and I was like so angry because my mask was stuck in my bag and I couldn't put it on. If you have the new zipper it is so smooth and easy to access. So I am definitely really happy I was able to get my hands on this guy. As I said in that COVID um, 5 luxury bags COVID edition. If you have this in the old style and you're able to sell it and get your hands on the new exposed zipper, do it. You won't regret it. It is amazing. It is amazing. So let me go ahead and let's do a what's in my bag. This is max. I mean, that's ridiculous actually. It's so many things and you'd think, how do you get them out when you're in a rush or whatever? But because the flap of this, this is why I wanted a PM. And so many people said, why don't you get the Montserrat, like PM or the new Montserrat? Because I had, had, the Chanel Urban Spirit. It has now sold. I found it so hard to contend with the flap and everything like that. It just wasn't easy. Whereas the Palm Spring line with a zipper, it's so easy to get in and out of. Because if you do have it as packed as this, you just, Pull the flap down at the front and stuff is kind of in a line anyway. So straight up in the front is my iPhone Plus. Behind that I have, you can see, a bunch of receipts that I've just quickly shoved in the front here straight out from the shops. So a homewares and a shopping 
list. So then behind that you can sort of see all stacked there in a line which is quite neat and tidy which I like that. On the side I have a pen. This is just a pen from Target I think and it's got like the Beverly Hills Hotel kind of palms and the pink. It's so cute and I love clicky pens. Then I have the infamous mask I was telling you about. I can't put it on because I have a lot of lipstick on but it's my tie-dye mask from Cotton On. These are so cool because they're adjustable. They're really, really good. I'll link them below. You can only buy them online. And then I have my portemonnaie or round coin purse with all my loose change in it. Ooh, and a fiver. I love when that happens. Uh, so this has been since discontinued. That's so mean. It is now out though in the Christmas limited edition with the animation on the front and plain monogram on the back. So if you did want to get one of these new, that's out now. So check with your essay. Otherwise, I'll link a couple below. You can get them on the pre-loved market. My current wallet, since I unboxed it, ooh, is my Chanel 19. i really loving this. I'm glad it's in goat skin because it's a little bit more hard wearing because definitely with this bag, the zipper, I'm not going to lie, it's it's scratched it like it's rubbed up against it a few times. I do have one comment though. This zipper is, let me know if you have this line. This zipper seems to feel a little bit tinny. It doesn't feel as nice as my caviar. Oh zip, can you kind of hear that? It kind of feels a bit chintzy. Okay, and then I have my four key. I can't change out of it in monogram canvas. I love this thing so much. It's so nice in the hand and it's a great size. That's why I end up selling my six key every time because I'm like, oh, I just love my four key. Okay, and then my catch all, which you can see here, is my mini pochette in monogram. Favorite, favoritism at its best. I'm obsessed with this thing. Obsessed. And this is kind of the usual suspects I always have in here. So my Dior lip balm, this is amazing and it has a little bit of a tint in it. Trust me if you're looking for it, a nice luxury brand uh, lip balm. My little bit beaten up Chanel double facets mirror, best mirror ever. My husband's spare car key, a couple of hair ties, spare points cards. There are people at my house. A hair tie, a bobby pin, and hand cream. This is the best hand cream from Crabtree and Evelyn. It came in a three pack, and this is the pear and pink magnolia. It smells so nice if you have dry hands. Get your hands on that. Okay, last few things. These are my sunnies, and they are in a Chanel dust baggie because anytime I'm downsizing, let me just clean them. Anytime I'm downsizing, I put them in a baggie rather than their actual um, case, bam. So these are my um, Celine Tildes, which are just huge black square sunnies and they're so beautiful to hide behind. Ding. And in the bottom of this, I have a Louis Vuitton sample of Rose de Vence. And I put it in here because, well, you shouldn't really put them inside your bag because that's where like reselling, like perfume smell, it's not good. Okay, then down on the bottom, which you can see there, at the back I have Kleenex, uh, sanitizer wipes, of course. I have a USB. I have my car key on my monogram Dragon little key strap which never changes. I have my AirPods not in a case at the moment. I'm giving my little mousey a break but there they are and then lastly it's empty and I have a soap to go. This is such great hand sanitizer. It feels like water on your hands. I hate sticky sanitizer and it smells beautiful. I also can't stand putting sanitizer on my hands that smells straight like vodka. There are people in my house. Who's in my house? Who's? <sighs> it's Nanny Mel. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, there's nothing in the back pocket there, so that is completely empty. But all of that came out of this little guy. Truthfully, I have said before, it's such a handy bag. It really, really is. It was one of my most recommended bags two years ago to be able to just throw on and get out the door. It holds everything you need. It's really nicely positioned to, in your space to have a crossbody or on your back. It's just... It's a really great bag. If you can get your hands on it or you've been thinking about it, I recommend it. I did have it sitting on the shelf for quite a long time. That's because I thought the PM was much more of a go for me. I'm still very much on the fence thinking I want the PM. I'm just using this on my back at the moment and we'll see how we go. Alrighty, so that is a quick what's in my bag with my Palm Springs mini backpack that I've been carrying for the last week on my back. Yes, I feel like I'm toting around a kid's size, not even a kid's, like a one-year-old's backpack. That's why I'm not sure like to still look at getting the PM or even the MM as if I do want to be hands-free, maybe I definitely need a bigger size. Let me know if you're a tallie and more curvy in the comments below. If you rock this and you love it, it's always helpful hearing other people's opinions. But that is it guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and wish to do so. There is a button below guys. I'd super appreciate that. I will see you in my next video. I hope everybody is staying safe and doing well. Take care guys. Peace.